What's up, it's Nick here from MyGuyIphone.com and as you guys know, Apple do not support Flash on their mobile devices or any of their devices for that matter. So the iPhone, the iPod Touch, the iPad, those sort of devices, they do not support Flash. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to support Flash for a very long time. Now recently, Apple have allowed uh, Skyfire, an application which allows Flash, into the App Store. Now I'm not sure how long this is going to last, so make sure you go grab it right now. The link will be down in the description to go download that. So it's £1.79 here in the UK and it's around $3 in the US and obviously for any, any other currency you can convert that. So basically what it is, it's an overlay of the Safari application which allows you to view Flash videos. So you won't be able to play Flash games or anything like that, but you will be able to watch Flash videos. So it's opening up your device to a lot a uh, big, much bigger range of websites that maybe you use on a daily basis on your computer, which you just can't use on your iPhone or iPod Touch or your, or your iPad. So go get it in the App Store, and then once you have it, the application will look pretty much like this. It's the it's just a pretty much Safari. The icon's right there. We open it up, and it looks something like this. Now as you can see, I have my YouTube channel or migrate iPhone YouTube channel loaded up right now. Now as you should know if you view the desktop version of YouTube um, and you go to a channel you will not be able to view the video as you can see it's just a plain box and if we actually zoom in it should say something like you need to have flash as you can s well, I hope you can see that Let's just zoom in a bit more yeah okay um, hello you either have JavaScript turned off or an old version of Adobe's flash player get the latest flash player so you know you need flash for that video so what's really nice about this application is again like I just said you can view flash flash video so you go down here to the toolbar and this video here which looks like a sort of play clip you click that and it will notice that it has a video on this page that you can view so we click play and it will start to load the video now it runs pretty darn good I've been using it for about 10 minutes a bit over that and it runs really well now depending obviously on your internet connection or anything like that it might take longer to load longer to view or anything like that but the video is actually run pretty nice so it's just loading the video right now and it shouldn't take too long and as you can see it's loaded and this is just the video that's on our channel right now it's the video we've just released about following us on Twitter so really nice as you can see I can view the video and that's just a really nice thing to see. Now obviously you can make it bigger and obviously it does work in landscape as well but I'm just going to leave it in portrait for the video. Um, we can click done to exit out. Now to the to the right of the video clip video you do have this little squiggly line and you click that and basically this is just relevant links to things on this page. So we have YouTube, we have channel subscribers weeks and you can click them and it will load sort of a page with things to linked to that sort of topic so that's pretty nice as well now you still have the same features as before on Safari so you can add bookmarks, share share via Twitter and Facebook I believe and email and that's really nice to have also you have your tabs and you can add new and delete obviously pretty much like Safari and you have your bookmarks and it just has your history and obviously you can add bookmarks as well and we just have the back page as well. Now if I just go over to the Skyfire, this is the first bookmark, the Skyfire main page. And this just has a load of websites on there which include Flash. So that's pretty nice if you just want to test it out to see if that Flash works. So when you find a video you want to watch or a site you want to look at, obviously you can do that. Now I do have one already loaded up in another tab. So we just go to this and load it back up. Now, it's not as fast as Safari, but that's obviously to be expected on a third party application. But you still have the same features. You can scroll in, obviously, and you can zoom in, pinch and zoom, double tap to zoom as well. Now, on here, like you just noticed, the video came up. Again, you will need Flash to view this video. But again, it notices there's a video there, and we can click that. And it should load it up in no time at all. Let's just let it do its thing. Okay, so as you can see, the video has loaded up. I'm not sure what the video is about. Something about New York, I believe. And as you can see, we are viewing a video and it runs pretty smooth. So that's really great. So we can click done again. That's just wanted to show you another site 
away from YouTube. So that's pretty much it guys, it's a Skyfire application, again the prices I mentioned earlier, but like I said right at the beginning, we're not sure how long it's going to be seen on the App Store, so get it now while you can, and if Apple remove it, you, at least you know you have it on your device and you've beat everyone else to it. So that's pretty much it, it's Nick from iGrowiPhone.com just bringing you a quick video on Skyfire, an application which allows you to view flash videos on your on your iDevice. So no flash games as of yet but you can still view flash videos which opens a wide range of websites which previously you haven't been able to look at because it does use flash. So that's pretty much it, it's Nick from iGrowiPhone.com and I'll catch you guys real soon next video, thanks for watching and have a great day.